Greetings, I'm Jonathan Spirit, I need more uranium, and welcome to Age of Engineering Super Shorts. I want more capacitors. I want more of a lot of things, in fact, that are very complicated to make without automation, like the sturdy casing, which requires a very complicated and powerful recipe. My best bet for that is UU replication. That means I need IC2 power, and lots of it. Ultimate hybrid solars are my way to go, making 512 EU per tick, but I don't have enough uranium. The best way to get that uranium? Find a uranium mineral deposit, put an excavator on it from immersive engineering, and wait. The excavator, however, requires 4096 RF per tick. Though, I did just create the infrastructure to run the diesel generator, which generates exactly that amount. So, in this episode, I'm going to make those two machines to get all the uranium I need to make another ultimate hybrid solar panel. First things first, I did change up my biodiesel design a little bit. Turns out, graded hoppers don't pull from mechanical crafters, so I had to use a filtered transfer node instead. Also, for some reason, hopper ducts wouldn't insert directly into industrial fermenters, so I had to add another hopper. In order to create those machines, I'll need 12 steel scaffolding, 15 sheet metal, 5 fluid pipes, 2 redstone engineering blocks, 10 light engineering blocks. Before I get my heavy engineering blocks, I'm gonna need solarium. Sand in an atomic reconstructor gets you soul sand. And now that we have our solarium, 18 heavy engineering blocks. Meanwhile, I made a few extra materials for the core sample drill, which we're gonna need to find ore veins. In order to run the core sample drill, I'm gonna need a photovoltaic cell, which runs 40 hour per tick, which is exactly what I need. The core sample drill requires 40 hour per tick. Thankfully, the advanced photovoltaic cell runs exactly that amount. Four generator blocks, and last of all, 10 radiator blocks. And we can't forget the core sample drill, and now it's time to sample. First core sample got me a gold vein. After a long time, I finally got my uranium vein core sample. What this core sample means is that in this chunk, I'll get uranium and lead if I put down an excavator here. I've already started cleaning out some space. All I need to do now is set it all up. And now it's all set up. I have a fluid tank connected to the diesel generator set on output mode, which has the orange dots on the top, and some ender energy conduits connecting the diesel generator to the excavator. Levers for redstone control. A small storage crate to store my uranium and lead. This grass was dug up at the very beginning. There won't be any more. Now I can start making my ultimate hybrid solar panel. RE battery. Generator. Electronic circuits. Solar panel. Irradiant uranium. Reinforced glass. Irradiant glass panes. Iridium ingot. Iridium iron plate. Reinforced iridium iron plate. Irradiant reinforced plate. Advanced circuits. Advanced solar panel. 24 coal balls. 3 coal chunks, 64 more irradiant uranium, 8 enriched cenarium, 16 iridium reinforced plates, 2 cenarium alloy, 2 enriched cenarium alloy, and after quite a long-winded and arduous journey, an ultimate hybrid solar panel. 1,448 EU per tick, that's what I like to see. With these ultimate hybrid solar panels and the ability to make more on demand, I will have no problem creating a replicator system that will be able to make my complicated machine blocks with ease. And that's it for today's episode. Next time, I'm going to make a replicator system. This time around, I tried a new intro, and the sound quality should be fixed. And of course, if you have any feedback, I'd always love to hear it. I hope you enjoyed!